Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's review, I'm super excited. This is definitely in my top list of the releases that I've been most excited about ever since I saw this. This is the Patrick Ta Major Headlines Blush palette i have it in my hands it is so beautiful and i was really excited about this because this contains my favorite cream and powder blush duo formula at least one of my absolute favorites from patrick ta in three new shades if you want to see my thoughts on this see my demo all that good stuff then just keep watching Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Now at the moment on Sephora, this is sold out and even on the Patrick Tall website, this is sold out. So make sure you have my notification bell on and are following me on Instagram because I will let you guys know when this is back in stock. I'm hoping it comes back in stock in time for the Sephora VIB sale. And then also if Maybe that's not the case. When it comes back in stock on Patrick Ta, they have a lot of 15% off codes that you can use on these. Make sure you have that bell on so that I can let you know in my community tab. So this is what the box is going to look like. It's the similar aesthetic to regular Patrick Ta palettes. Now this is $58. It did launch today, at least the day that I'm filming it. It was a Sephora app exclusive yesterday and I ordered it from the app. I paid expedited shipping and for the first time in a while, Sephora actually came through with the expedited shipping. I've been quite disappointed lately, which is fine. I know there's a lot going on in the, in the mail system. When I pay expedited, I make sure if I don't get it expedited, I make sure I get my money back, but this literally came expedited. I'm very, very excited about that. So it's the same component as the eyeshadow palette which I just realized I should have worn today. I'm wearing Dior Soft Cashmere today and this I've had for a while and today was my first day trying it and I'm in love with it. Highly recommend it, side note. But I should have used the Patrick Ta palette. That would have made more sense. Anyways, same packaging as the Patrick Ta palette. You can already see my fingerprints all over it. And this is what the back is going to look like. So this palette is made in the USA and it has a 12 month shelf life. On the Patrick Ta website, he does say that this is a limited edition palette. I'm assuming it's a holiday exclusive for this year. What a great idea, I must say. He originally had has this formula that's in here in individual so I'm so excited to see it in a palette form. I think that's amazing. And the most exciting part is these are three brand new shades. These shades do not exist in the line. So when you open it up you do have a mirror and then you have your cream blushes on top and then the corresponding powder blushes on the bottom. Very clever. I'm so thankful for when, when brands do this but there is a cover over the creams so that the powder does not get stuck in the creams and it also is going to extend the life of the cream blush because it keeps the air out. Stops it from drying out so fast. Let me show you what the individuals look like. So it definitely looks like the individual blush itself is going to have more product, which is completely fine. This is a palette. I'm not bothered by that. Okay, yeah. Each cream in the palette is going to be one ounce of product and then one cream in the individual is point to one ounces. So just a wee bit over half. Each powder in here is 0.11 ounces and then a powder in here is 0.14 ounces yeah you get more product in this one particularly the cream you get less product but it doesn't really matter because this is a good deal for 58 dollars for three new colors all right let's take a closer look at the new shades here now my initial reaction when i opened this was i thought whoa this is very very bright i feel like this is going to work on deeper skin tones but let's see how they swatch this is untouched i hate showing touched makeup in a review first thing enjoy the beauty now because i'm about to swatch it okay so let's start off with she's a doll right here really buttery and creamy look at that so this is the cream. It doesn't seem to be overly pigmented, which is awesome. The blush is quite pigmented, but we can work with that. So that's She's a Doll. And just so you know, the individual blushes from Patrick Ta, single blushes, no cream in there. I wasn't the biggest fan of that formula, but I love 
the formula of the powder blushes in the cream and powder duos. I find the colors to be more pigmented, to be a little bit more soft, and from this first swatch, this is the good blush formula. <laughs> okay, let's do She's Vibrant. Not She's Vibrant, let's swatch it. These are gonna really work on deeper skin tones, for sure. These carry a lot of pigment. If you're on the lighter side, you're definitely gonna wanna be a little careful. And lastly, we have She's Baked. This is described as a tanned mauve. So this one looks almost reddish. So the creams don't look like they're overly pigmented, which is really nice, but the powder blushes will allow you to have the vibrancy. So we have She's a Doll, which is a poppy pink. She's Vibrant, which is a vibrant orange red. And then She's Baked, which is a tanned mauve. So these are the three shades. I only have two of the cream duos, so I'm going to show you a comparison for those. So the first one that I have is She's That Girl. And I wanna show you She's That Girl next to the blushes. This one is going to be very different, I would say. Much more muted, a little bit more wearable. Huh, okay. Here are the swatches right here. I would actually say the cream blush is somewhat similar to She's Vibrant, but the powder blush is definitely different. It's much more of a blue pink. Then I definitely want to compare She's Baked to this one, which is She's So LA. This one looks more orange. But let's try it. So on my hand, it looks a little bit more brown as opposed to this warmer color right here. The cream looks a lot more pigment pigmented, but from what I can tell, these new shades don't seem to be too close to the ones that I personally have. It looks like maybe just the creams might be similar, but to me, these definitely do look like brand new shades. I'm gonna take you in close and we are going to try on each of the colors. So everything that's on my face right now is going to be linked in the description box if you wanna check it out. I love the way my makeup looks right now. I do not have any powder on currently. I do have the Patrick Ta She Sculpt did contour and powder duo and I just have the cream contour on zero powder on my face this is just the way that I like to apply these I find that his formula does work pretty well over powder so I think if you lightly powder you will be fine in fact the way that he recommends you apply these is to do the powder first and then the cream over top I've tried that method I like that method but personally I still prefer the cream first powder after so that's the way I'm going to do it so I'm gonna use a beauty blender sponge. There's no color on it. I did use it for a little bit of foundation. But let's start with She's a Doll. So I'm gonna get a little bit of that on here. Put it a couple more times in. And you can see it's beautiful and nice and soft. So this isn't as vibrant and scary as it looks in the pan. You can see it really does blend in with the skin. It gives a nice natural glow. Actually, let me turn the light down just a little bit because you'll be able to see the colors a little bit more. So this is just the cream blush and a lot of times with his blushes, I do go out with just the cream. I don't even bother with the powder. I think the cream has such a pretty finish. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade. I'll do two taps and it looks very, very bright. And let's tap it on and it's grabbing right onto the cream, but it still is not overwhelming. I think I could have gotten a very vibrant color if I didn't tap off my brush or if I went in a little bit harder, but this is gorgeous. I love this shade. It is a more vibrant blush, but it's not crazy. I wouldn't call it unwearable on my skin tone. Let's try on She's Vibrant. And I mean, <laughs> the name suggests I'm gonna want to go light-handed, so I'm gonna use a different side of my sponge. And I didn't press too hard into the cream, but I'm actually gonna go back for more. So I feel like we could use more vibrancy. I just think the creams are so beautiful on their own. Look at that color. I probably applied too much considering I'm gonna pair this with the powder, but I can't help myself. It's so beautiful. My creams are already getting nasties on there. I'm wiping off my blush brush. I'm using a blinged brush at 14, by the way, and I think I'm gonna wanna go light. We'll do one tap. You can see it's already on the brush, two. Tap off, here we go. Whew, she's vibrant, that's for certain. I mean, it's beautiful for the review's sake, I went a little bit more ham than I normally would with this, 
but you can definitely see the difference between the two shades. You can still make this wearable. You guys saw how soft and pretty the cream blush look. You could go lighter on the cream blush. You can use a lighter hand in the blush. I, I really think this is a skin tone inclusive palette because this is definitely going to work on my ladies that have deeper skin tones. I don't know if you're the fairest of the fair how much you're going to love this. These colors are pigment packed. The powders in particular. My skin tone, I feel like I can absolutely make these work. Okay, I'm going to clean off my face and then we'll do She's Baked together. Because I do want to show you that these do work with just a touch of powder, I am now going to powder since this is what I'm going to be wearing out in the same manner that I normally do. So I focus the powder on my T-zone area like so. And then I'm going to take the Patrick Ta powder bronzer in She's Statuesque. And I'm just going to use the powder to bronze my face and set that cream contour that I added earlier, which honestly probably got wiped off from having to redo the foundation. But we're gonna bronze with that. And let's use the final one. I'm worried about this one. I'm going to try and go very light handed. And we're going to mix it up how I'm doing it. Just so I can show you a different method of application. So I'm going to go into She's Baked with my BK Beauty 106 brush. Just got a little bit. I want to go a little bit more light handed with this. And even though it looks quite scary in the pan. You can see it's not too much even with a brush on my cheek. Honestly, I'm gonna go a little bit heavier into the cream because I feel like it's not overwhelming. This is with a little bit of a heavier application. I was worried about this shade, but at least the cream looks stunning. The product is sitting very happily on my skin despite there being a little bit of powder down there. Okay, cleaned off my blush brush. I'm gonna do one tap in this because I feel this could probably get quite overwhelming fast. I'm gonna disperse that between the two cheeks and all three shades of these blushes look very different on the cheeks, which is one of the most important things to me in a blush palette. I recently reviewed the NARS High Profile blush palette and I didn't like it because so many of the shades looked the same on the cheek. It might as well have been like one big blush as opposed to six different ones because they just look the same. All three of these look different and this shade, while it looked intimidating, by using a light hand, it's not that bad. It looks really beautiful. Honestly, I really like this shade. It gives kind of like a sunburnt look. Wow, I like this. I'm happy I ended with this shade because it's beautiful. If you put just a little bit on the nose, that's the perfect sunburnt look. Give yourself a little bit of faux freckles. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, if you couldn't figure this out, I am very, very into this palette. I think all three shades are beautiful. I love how all three shades look different on the face. This is in line with his regular formula. And I think this is going to be versatile for a lot of different skin tones. And if you're on the deeper side, I honestly think that this is going to look even more beautiful on you. But I love how versatile this palette is because I feel like the, the creams are quite natural. They're not overwhelming. And then you can really get into the pigment with the powder blushes. The creams are going to give the powder blushes something to stick to, so they're gonna be even more vibrant if you want them to. If you want something more natural, start off with the powder first and then put a little bit of the cream on top. And that's also going to give a more skin-like finish. This is just the way that I prefer to apply these products and I'm so into it. But definitely if you have a deeper skin tone, these will 1000% work on you if you do cream first then powder. It will be so vibrant and beautiful on you. So um, this so far, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite, but it's one of my favorite holiday launches. Definitely a must have if you're an enthusiast about the holiday makeup like me. So I am for sure going to keep an eye out and see when these items restock and let you guys know because it's a good one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Did you get to pick this up? Are you planning on it? Great gift to ask for for Christmas. Hopefully it comes back in stock for the VIB sale. So yeah, thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. I will see you all in one. Bye guys, have a good one.